Hi, this is Denise again from the South Barrington Club coming to you from my satellite location, my living room, where we'll be doing these videos. Uh, we're going to try to get um, at least five of them out per week, uh, Monday through Friday for you, and a variety of them. Uh, we've already put some up on YouTube and Facebook, so check for those. There's a Pilates Fusion one and a um, Total Body Workout. Today's video is going to be uh, primarily core abs and lower bodies. We're going to focus on those areas. So um, we're going to get right into it. In the first couple of videos, I told you if you didn't have any weights that you could use uh, cans of soup or cans of uh, something a little heavier, like the, the bigger cans of uh, chili or beans or something like that as an option. And they're roughly about two to three pounds. Um, if you do have weights, grab your weights. You can also do this body weight only without weights and you'll still get an effective workout out of it. So you don't have to have weights to do any of these workouts. If you don't have them, just go right ahead. We'll do it body weight only. Okay, so without too much instruction, I'm gonna just tell you to stay at your own pace. We're gonna be doing 15 to 18 reps on a lot of these. And if that's too much for you, just go at your own pace. Maybe 10 or 12 is a better number. Stop whenever you need a little break. Make sure you got some water to hydrate and uh, we're gonna get started. Okay. So we're just gonna warm up a little bit. So let's just do a little bit of side to side. So we're only gonna spend a couple minutes warming up. And um, if you feel that you're really chilly, like you just came in from outside, you may wanna start this video in a couple more minutes because we're not gonna do a real long uh, warm up. All right, so we're just gonna twist. So the idea here is just to raise the body temperature a little bit, warming up the muscles so that we're not starting right off with cold muscles. And then we're gonna hold one stretch to the side and then hold it to the other side. Let's repeat that one more time. Lunge over one side. If you have bad knees, don't go too deep. And center. Okay, so the first part we're gonna do is we're gonna work the oblique. So if you have a weight, grab one of your weights. We're gonna do an oblique twist. So you're gonna soften those knees a little bit. So you don't wanna be here, you wanna be down here. Back up a little bit, because I know some of that video is cutting off the, the top of me there. And we're gonna do a twist right and left. So you're gonna twist, come back center. Twist, come back center. And make sure you don't do this, where you're moving your lower body. So you notice my lower body's not moving. I'm just moving from the waist up. So we're really gonna isolate those obliques and that torso and waistline area with this. So the idea is keeping that lower body as still as possible and twisting as much as you can. You can look over that shoulder to get a little deeper stretch. Look over that shoulder, that's optional. One more. And now we're gonna to twist to one side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Twist to the other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you're gonna stretch. We're gonna do two sets, a little stretch light stretches in between and we'll do a deeper stretch at the end of our video today all right second set and twist come back center twist come back center and stay aware of your lower body notice my lower body my hips and my knees are not moving i'm just moving from the waist up you want to keep an eye on that but you don't do that and you stay right like that good a couple more so we're working the side portion of the core, the oblique area, that waistline. A little later, as we get into the ab work, we'll be, make, work, we'll be doing more of the uh, front of the abs. So the abdominus rectus group. Now we're gonna twist and it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna get a stretch and a stretch. 
All right, we're going to go on to wood chop. If you have your weight, it's going to look like this. If you don't have your weight, then you're simply just going to like a karate chop over. All right, with or without your weight. And the other option is you don't have to lift your knee. If you want to modify, leave it down. It's a little more, you're going to get a little more out of it, a little more intense if you do the knee lift. All right, here we go. 15 of them. One, two, three. Here's the modified version. Four. That's the modified. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you're twisting from the waist. Eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15. That's one set. Let's go stretch. And we can do the other side. So again, you can leave that leg down or you can do the knee lift to add some intensity. And here we go. Wood chop. One. And make sure you're twisting from the waist. Two. Twist. Three. Twist. Four. Good. Five. Here's a modified version. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, let's get a stretch for both sides now. Stretch it over and stretch it over. All right, last one standing for the obliques is going to be side crunches. So you want to make sure you're not doing these in the front. You want to really get to that side. All right, hand can be here, 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 wherever you'd like. All right, and here we go. 15 of them. One, two, three, four. And you can modify five like that, six, or full, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, make sure you lean into it, 12, 13, 14, 15. One set down, stretch. Other side, hand could be here, here, or here. All right, here we go. Side crunch, lean into it as you lift that knee. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and stretch. All right, we're going to drop down to our mat for some additional ab work. And this is gonna be a little more front ab work, front of the core, so abdominus rectus. All right. We're gonna start with some crunches, and you can just do a basic crunch with the knees bent, never any straight legs, knees bent, support the head, or you could take it up a notch here, or take it up a notch further here. So basic, a little harder, a little harder yet. Three choices for you. All right, here we go. Exhale, crunch, and down. We're going to shoot for 20. Now, if 20 is too many for you, you pick the number that works best for you. Maybe it's 10 or 15, but you pick. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Make sure you don't do this with your elbows. Hold them back. Just light support in that head. Exhale up, inhale down. 11, 12, and you could be here or here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, a little stretch. All right, second set, ready? 15 to 20, here we go. Exhale, down. Exhale, down, exhale, down, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, you can be here if you'd like, nine or here, ten, 
11, 12, exhale, exhale, there's 15, 15 to 20, you pick. Remember to work at your own pace, pick the number that works best for you, and 19, and 20, and stretch. Okay, we're gonna go into double leg stretch. This one is used from Pilates, but I love it for all my ab classes. It's just an overall great exercise. Now you can leave your head up for, this is how we do it in Pilates, but a lot of people in my ab classes choose to leave their head down. Or you can do a combo of it, up, you know, lift and then lower it as your neck gets tired. All right, here we go, double leg stretch. Exhale out, bring it back in. Exhale out, bring it back in. Keep your abs down flat, navel to spine. If your neck gets tired, you're right here. Don't hesitate to drop your head if your neck starts to get tired. Since this is a Pilates exercise, you hold your head up in Pilates, but for a lot of people that don't do Pilates, that's really difficult. 10, five more if you can. 11, feel free to drop your head. 12, 13, 14, 15 and rest. Okay. Second set. And if your neck's getting tired, just leave it down the entire set. Here we go. Exhale. Bring it in. Try to keep your feet together. Exhale. Think about the abs down flat, navel to spine. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Drop your head if you need it. Exhale. In. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and rest. Beautiful. All right, next one's gonna focus on the lower abdominals. So we're gonna cross a leg over, and you can either keep your hands here with your head down, or if you prefer, you can give yourself a little back support by placing them under your hips. And we're going to lift and tap. Here we go. Lift the hips, tap down, and lift, tap down. Exhale as you lift, tap down. Exhale, lift, tap down. Exhale, tap down. Exhale, tap down. Exhale, tap. Exhale, tap. Nine. Ten. Five more. 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, stretch, try to remember which leg you use because the second set we're going to switch that leg, cross it over, so hands behind your head if you'd like or under your hips, especially if you have any back issues then it'll be under your hips, and here we go, lift and tap, exhale, tap, Exhale, tap. Exhale, tap. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Remember to keep your abs tight. Don't push them out. Eight, nine, I'm sorry. And ten. Five more if you can. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. And draw those knees in. All right, we're going to lift the legs. You can just keep them together or you can cross them. And we're going to do an alternate reach to those legs. Here we go. And it's reach, 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 reach. Now, no specific breathing pattern here. Just keep breathing steady, inhaling and exhaling. And four more, three more, two more, one. And double reach, reach and out. Exhale, out. Exhale, out, exhale, out, exhale, out, exhale, out. Two more. Exhale, exhale, and rest. One down, one more to go on that one. And legs up, either together or crossed. Alternate reaches, here we go. And reach, reach, reach. Steady deep breaths, no particular breathing pattern here. Double reach, here we go, reach and down. Exhale, down, 
Exhale down. Exhale down. Exhale down. Three more. Two more. And one. Nice. Bring it back in. All right, the last portion of our ab work is going to be some fast bicycles. So we're going to shoot for, we're going to say like 50 to 60 today. Usually in my class we do uh, 80 to 100, but in, we've built up to that. So I know that's, that's a little bit excessive for anybody just joining in on this. So we're going to, we're going to be twisting and keeping the abs nice and tight. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and one, two, three. Steady deep breaths. Thirty, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50, beautiful, and hug those knees in. All right, we are gonna stand it up for some multi-muscle lower body work. So that is squats and lunges and those types of things where you're working multiple muscles. So when we do squats, we're involving the glutes, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, a little bit of the lower body, not quite as much on the calves, but uh, really, all for this area, which you probably, if you've been exercising a while, you know. If you want to grab your weights, go ahead and grab your weights for this one. We're going to do um, a traditional squat. So feet right under the hips. You want to align your feet. So if you're out here, you're not aligned. If you're aligned, if you're in here, not aligned. Here, hips, knees, feet, as much as you can align. So when we do a traditional squat, it's okay to bend forward. It's like sticking that hips out as if you're sitting in that chair and then you're gonna come back up. If you have bad knees, don't go all the way down, low. If you don't, try to go down to that 90 degree angle. All right, in alignment, and here we go. Traditional squat, bring it down and up. Bring it down. Now if you're doing this without weights, you'd be right here. That's the version without weights. If your arms get tired, down here. And up. Okay, it's definitely okay to lean your Shoulders forward on this one. You don't want to try to sit upright. That would strain the lower back. So you want a nice natural curve on that lower back. And you're sticking your hips out behind you if you're, as if you're sitting down in that chair and then coming up right back out of it. Good. Now you stop whenever you need to. If you need to stop now, just take a break. But I'm going to go for five more. Four more. I'm going to hold the last one just to prepare you. Three more. Two more. And now hold it down there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. And you can just stretch. Whatever stretch you'd like. If you like this particular stretch better, feel free to do that. Usually in class, we just kind of lengthen the whole leg, hitting the back of it a little bit and the front and switch sides. So again, if you prefer a different stretch from squats, use the one that you like best. There's many different versions you can use. All right, we're gonna grab those weights once again, and we are gonna do what's called the plie squat. So feet go out, toes go out, so you don't wanna be pointed in. So you ha again, you wanna, if you're looking down that leg, your toe should be aligned with your knee outward. And that's going to ensure that your knees get the most support and protection. Now you can leave your weights here. You can put them up here. Whatever you'd like to do. Or, again, body weight only, arms here. All right, here we go. And down and up. Now if you notice, I'm going down at about a 90 degree angle, as if I had a chair there that I was going and sitting down on and coming back up. But if you have bad knees, I always tell my people in class, right like this, a little more shallow, not to go too deep. And just listen to your body, let how your body feels dictate where you take these exercises to. And this is 10. 
And spoiler alert, I'm going to hold that last one again. 12, 13, 14, 15, and hold. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now a little extra credit if you can. Heel if right, left. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Double heels. Remember, you don't have to do this. It's extra credit. For those of you who can do my class, you know this and you're used to it, so you should be able to do it. If you're newer to any of this, just leave this part out. And 10. Beautiful. And we're going to stretch again. And one more time, other side. Next one's going to just need one weight. So if you have a little bit heavier weight, and remember to grab some water if you need it. If you have a little bit heavier one, you might just want to use this single weight instead of um, your light one. All right, this is called the goblet squat. Now, when they, they look similar. That plie position was out quite a bit wider and your toes are out. In a goblet squat, we come in a little bit further, so it's just kind of a, a wide squat position. And then we're gonna hold our goblet. I didn't make up the name of this. And then you can either draw it in and out, or if that gets tiring, you can just hold it chest level. All right, here we go. Down and up. So it's out and in. That's a little more intense. Or just hold it in chest level. Good. And again, I'm coming down as low as that 90 degree angle. And I always keep sounding like a broken record, but if you have any knee issues, don't go down that low. If you start to feel it in your knees, it's just here. That's the appropriate level for any knee issues. 14, 15, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and stretch. And switch sides. All right, we are gonna do some split lunges. You can use both weights. It can be, it can be, uh, I'm gonna move this. It can be light or heavy weights, your choice. So in our split lunge, we're gonna stay stationary. And you can have your weights here or up here, whichever you prefer. All right, right leg in front, and have a fairly wide amount of space here. If you, if you keep that back leg close, you're not gonna get much range of motion. So as much as you can bring it back, both toes facing forward, and shoulders up tall, and here we go, down and up. Now you notice I'm bringing that back knee really low. So once again, if you have knee issues, you're here, shallow. No knee issues, you're there, all the way down. Shoulders up tall. You don't want to bend forward in this one. Keep them up tall. Good. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more. 15, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, I love those holds. <laughs> My class doesn't like them so much, but they give you that extra little burn on that muscle, that just a little extra work when the muscle thinks it's going to rest, that you push it, that 10 more counts on that hold. Okay, we are switching legs. So again, try to get a nice little range of motion, both toes forward, take a look at that. And this requires a little balance on these two, so keep that in mind. And if you were doing it without weights, you'd be here. I'll do my second set without weights. You can also have them up here. All right, here we go. Down, up. Now I'm going really low. If you take a look at my back knee, it's coming down really low, very close to the ground. That's also putting a 90 degree angle on that front knee. If that's too much for you, right here, shallow, just a little bit. 10. 11, 12, shoulders up tall, 13, 14, 
15 and hold. 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Beautiful. And stretch. And stretch. You don't ever want to press on your knee, so bring it up a little higher as you stretch. Okay, we are going on to the back of the legs. So we're gonna do the, we're gonna hit the, the glutes right now, and we're gonna hit the hamstring area. So if you have a weight that you like to use for this, you can put it right behind your knee. If not, no weights needed. You're gonna be on your hands, and hand placement is not that important for this. And we're gonna, we're gonna get a nice squeeze on that weight if you have it there. So um, normally it will not fall, just as long as you keep a little pressure on it. All right, here we go. And we're gonna lift and down. So again, if you're doing this without a weight, still very effective. Body weight only as functional exercise, and it's very effective. If you've got the extra weight to add and you want to, Great, add it. Eight, nine, ten. And you should be keeping your head looking down. You don't want to crank your neck when you're doing these. So occasionally I'll look at the camera, but the correct way to do this would be looking down towards your hands. Sixteen, seventeen, we're in with twenty. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, good. Take that weight off if you have it. If, if not, either way, just stretch back. Good. All right, change that weight to the other side. And again, if you don't have a weight, not a problem. And here we go. And lift and down. And if you are using a weight, put a little squeeze on it. Make sure it's not gonna slide off. And five, looking straight down, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we take that weight off, stretch back, and we're still working that same area. So we're going to come up on the hands and the knees again. I'm going to switch back to the right leg or whichever was your first leg. And this is, we always call this two up, two down. So it's a really small movement and you want to hold that leg up high, really isolating the glute. Okay, so here we go. Hold it up high and it's two inches up, two inches down, two inches up, two inches down. So that's your visual. And you know, if you're going three or four inches in your range of motion, that's completely fine, nobody's measuring us. But the object is to keep that leg up high and really isolate that glute area in this one. That's why we're keeping that range of motion really small. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now don't change leg, same leg. Draw it under, up and squeeze the glute. Draw it under, up and squeeze. Under, sweep it up, squeeze. Under, up, squeeze. Five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, ten. Remember, stop anytime you need to. Eleven, fifteen might not be the right number for you, so you pick. Thirteen, fourteen, all right, a phase three to this last one. Re remember to just pulse it up here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful stretch back. All right, so it's a three-parter. And yes, we have to do the other side. Thankfully, we only have two legs. <laughs> Move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. And beginning with that other leg now. And you can keep your foot flexed or pointed. It makes no difference. All right, holding it up high. Two inches up, two inches down. Two inches up, two inches down. Lift, down. Up, down. Keep that movement small and tight. Really isolating the glute muscles here. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now here we go, phase two. Draw it in, up and squeeze. Draw it in, sweep it up and squeeze the glute. In, up and squeeze the glute. Four, good. Five, six. Remember, you might just be shooting for 10 reps instead of 15, your choice. Eight, nine, 10. Take breaks wherever you need it. 12, 13, 14. Phase three, here we go. And lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Press back. Beautiful. Okay, we are going to the outer hip, outer thigh. If you have a weight, great. If not, don't worry about it. Body weight only. You're going to, you're going to stay up on your forearm here. So you're up on your elbow. So not here. You want to stay up here. Now this does make it a little easier. So if you choose to take it down like that, you can do that. And then you're going to take your top leg, cross it behind. If you're using a weight, it's going to go right here. You can bring it up here, here, but don't place it on your knee. Too much pressure on the knee. So anywhere from here to here is fine. Keep that foot horizontal. So not here, here. And we're going to be working that inner thigh group adductor. Here we go. And lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. And this is one that if you do it without a weight, it's still pretty intense. So if you grab that weight and you're just thinking this, this is just too hard, just drop the weight off your leg and continue on with body weight only. And this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're going to circle. Keep it small. Keep it tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to make a V or an L. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now two up, two down. Up, two, down, two. And if at any point you're getting tired, just take a little breather. Doing these many reps back to back can be a little intense. So if it's just too much for you, a lot of people in my class, you know, it takes a while to work up to this. So I want to make sure that everybody goes at their own level. And this is seven. Going to 10, eight, nine, one more, 10, and down. Good, all right. Let's come in, let's get a little stretch. You can just take it forward, and you don't have to lean forward if that's a little too much. You can just do this, or you can lean forward to get a deeper stretch on that inner thigh area. All right, changing sides. And remember, you don't need a weight for this. Stay up on your elbow, on that forearm. Take the top leg, place it behind here, or add that weight. Keep that foot horizontal and not vertical. So horizontal, here we go. Lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. Now it can be a little lift or a big lift. Your choice, either one. Big lift is a little more intense. You knew that. 10, 11, 12, work an inner thigh, adductor group, 14, 15. Now that circle, doesn't matter which way you circle, either way. Clockwise, counterclockwise, your choice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Now make that L or that V. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Up, 2, down, 2. Up, 2, down, 2. Feel free to stop anytime you need it. Like I said, this many back-to-back -back reps can be a little bit intense. Or drop your weight off and continue on if you need to. Down, down. And it's up, up, down, down. This is six. Down, down. Seven. Down, down. Eight. Down, down. Nine. Down, down down 10 down and down beautiful all right and stretch and again bending forward if you'd like okay we are going to go on to the outer thigh the abductor group and if you have a ball at home, usually in class we'll have uh, the Swiss balls or stability balls that we use and we'll lean on them. I don't happen to have one at my house, but if you have one, you can uh, by all means grab your ball for this and just lean on that stability ball. If not, then don't worry about it. All right, stay up on that hand. We're going to work that abductor, outer, outer thigh group. And here we go. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. So you're just lifting, just hip, hip level, doesn't have to be high, just hip level. Six, good. Seven, eight, nine, <coughs> ten, sorry, little dogs over there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, little breather. All right, it's going to be up two, down two, up Two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. I know these are a little bit intense. Two, down, two. One more. Up, two, down, two. Now we're gonna hold that leg up there and we're gonna draw it in, up and out. Draw it in, up and out. Three, four, Take breaks wherever you need it. Five. These are tough. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Last one is going to be those hip extensions. Now, also, you can put your hand here if you need a little more stability. It makes it just a little more modified. All right. Last one. We still call these fire hydrants. Hip extensions. Here we go. Up. Down. Right about even with that thigh if you can. Lower if you need to modify. Four, five, six, and I bet this leg is killing you more. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and just stretch it. We stretch to both sides. So that leg that it feels like this side is hurting more, that's because that muscle group is working isometrically to hold you. So those muscles are engaged. People always ask, like, why does that side hurt even more so than the side they're working? And that's because it's holding your body weight up and the muscles are isometrically working. Isometrically is like holding, like we used to do those, oh, years ago they used to do isometric work like calisthenics. Switch the other side if you need it. And we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, so reminder, I, I was here, but you can have another, uh, you can have another hand down and helping. Furniture issues here. All right, here we go. And lift and down. Wait, I'm doing the same side, sorry. <laughs> so easy to get confused at home. All right, and I think I got it. Here we go, and lift, and down. Oh, that feels much better, lift, and down. I was like, why does that leg feel tired already? Oh yeah, because I did all those sets on it. Five, six, I'm just about there, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, we're gonna do 15 in the first one, and then we'll do 10s. 13, 14, 15, rest. 
up two, down two. Here we go. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Nine, and ten. Good. In and out. Here we go. In, out, in, out. Three, out, four, out, five. Remember, you can do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. And breathe down, a little breather. All right, last one's gonna be those hip extensions. Feel free to add the other hand at this point if you're starting to get really tired. And hip extensions, fire hydrants. Here we go. Lift, down, lift, down, three, four. So this is that outer thigh, outer hip, five, abductor group, six, seven, hand here if you need it, eight, nine, and 10, and stretch back. And again, just usually a little side to side stretch feels best on these. And another side. Beautiful, okay, so the last area that we work in our lower body is um, the lower back. Gonna hit the glutes a little bit also on this one again. So more the upper glute area as we hit that lower back. So we're gonna start off with um, we're gonna do Superman's first, and there's two versions. Let's just go do it. All right. So all the way down, and then you can either keep your arms bent or straight. So I prefer the bent one, which is up to you. And now you wanna look straight ahead, or when you come down, come to the side. You don't want to crank your head up. So drop it down, and here we go, ready? Exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale, lift, 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 inhale down. This is seven, inhale down, eight, down, nine, down. 10, and rest. Okay, last one we're gonna do is gonna be half swan. So on those swans, you can either keep your hands at your side or you can lace them. I did that on my, uh, I believe my total body workout. So if you might have not seen that, you know there's two hand positions. This can be a little uncomfortable for anybody that has tight shoulders. So then we just keep the hands right here. And here we go. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift the feet, lift the upper body, and down. Don't worry about how high you lift. As long as, you, as, long as you're lifting, you're gonna engage that muscle group that we're looking to work. That's the back portion of the core, the erector group. So lower back, and we're hitting those glutes a little bit. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. One more. And rest. All right, push it back to child's pose. We're going to get a nice stretch now. Now, some people can sit all the way back in child's pose. Some people find that to be a little too uncomfortable, so you might be here. Also, you can extend your arms or bring them in, whichever you're good with. Just get a nice, steep stretch. We're going to hold this a little bit longer. We're going to go into our stretch now, stretching out every muscle that we worked today. All right, and have a seat. We're going to start off with those hamstrings. I'm going to back up a little bit here. All right, so legs in front. We're going to come forward. And so depending on your flexibility, you might just get to your shins. You might get to your ankles. You might get to your shoes, your feet. And so the other thing is if, you, if you're really flexible and you want to deepen this, you can also drop your head down. So lots of options for you to stretch out the hamstring. So we're stretching the back of the leg here and hold. We're going to hold these longer. 
So I do light stretches in between our exercises and then a much deeper, longer stretch at the end of our entire workout. All right, inner thigh, bring those legs in, feet together. And again, for some people, this is just enough. This is as far as it can go. For other people, they can round down further. So pick the one that works best for you. And as we hold this, I'm just gonna say this again, if you've missed my first video, that stretching is really important. It'll help you to not be as sore after your workout. It'll improve your flexibility, amongst many other things that, um, wonderful things that it does for you. You can even hold these stretches longer or continue, <clears throat> excuse me, continue on after the video and do some more stretching. So stretching is important. Most people are like, huh, I, I just want to do the workout. I don't want to stretch, but make sure you do stretch after each workout. Okay. Outer hips. We're going to cross the leg over and then we're just going to hug it in. And now it doesn't have to really be a, a real strong hug, just a, a little, a little hug. And you're going to stretch right through here again. That piriformis muscle, IT band, also that glute area that we're looking to stretch from that abductor work we did, outer thigh work. And let's change legs, cross it over, give it a little hug in. Some people like to do this or just that hug, either one. You can actually add a little, a little twist too if you want. Your choice. And relax it. All right, for those obliques, we're going to just stretch over. You can be here, or you can take it further, whichever you prefer. And switch sides, bring it up here, or all the way over, whichever you prefer. Bring it back. And now for that earlier work that we started with for the torso and obliques, we're just going to twist to one side, look over that shoulder and hold. Come back center, other side. Come back center. For the quadriceps, you're gonna lean over to one side and grab a hold of that leg. Now, if this is too much in somebody's knee, then they can just go here. If you're okay and it doesn't bother your knee, you can pull it all the way up. Listening to your body. And this is that quadricep from those squats that we did. Changing side, and again, if this bothers anybody's knee, you can just bring it right here and back a little bit. If you're okay with that full stretch, you're right here. Choose the one that works best for you. All right, we're almost there. All right. And you can sit cross-legged, you can extend your legs out, whatever you'd like. And we're just gonna get from those, the crunches and stuff that we did, your neck can get a little tight and your shoulders, so we're just going to roll those shoulders out nice and easy. Doesn't matter if you roll them forward or back, whatever you like. Just going to loosen up that trapezius area, that upper back triangular section there. And you don't really realize that you're working or, or engaging that area until maybe later tonight, then it gets tight. So that's where we're stretching that out. All right, and then just that neck now. So again, just leave it over. Don't try to match up your elbow and ear. That's too much. Just gently, just lay it over there. And this is again from those crunches that we did and all the ab work. Your neck has to be <clears throat> involved in that so it does tighten up during those exercises. We're just getting a nice, just easy stretch on there. Other side, nice and gentle. Not trying to match it up with your shoulder. Relax that shoulder. And back to center. Great job, everybody. Uh, I wish everybody um, health and stay safe at home. And I know I'll be back together really soon. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos. I'm gonna keep them going for everybody so we stay connected. Uh, last time I told you, if you know me on Facebook and you have a particular exercise that a class that you'd like me to do, send me a message. You can also email me through my email address on the South Barrington Park District website. My email address is there, um, and I'd love to hear from you and do any requests for any classes. Have a great day and stay safe. Thanks.